Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. Well, I was just going to introduce um, why I'm starting these um, oracle stories, which awesome. is that I've been uh, taking these goddess portraits <laughs> for 20 years. And um, the reason I made the oracle deck uh, and book is because I learned so much from each woman that I, I had the joy and privilege to make portraits of, co-create portraits. I learned so much from each woman. And uh, I wanted to share that with everybody. So I, all my work is about sharing it. And what better way to do it than this new technology of um, doing Instagram Live, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It's a well, great platform. It's a great platform. So I'm so glad you're my inaugural goddess. <laughs> And partially because you're responsible for making the Oracle deck. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, everybody, uh, Maya uh, really um, convinced me. How long ago was it? Four years? Three years? A few years ago, yeah, at this point. She, I had already done a small, uh, small little deck. And Maya said, no, make it bigger. Go, go. Make it. Expand it. Write the book which was very hard for me. And you helped me with that too. Thank you. And um, it's all because of you. So that's why we're here today. <laughs> oh, Lisa, it is all you, but I appreciate that. It was, it was nice to be a part of the, the, the birthing of this. Definitely. You're my, you're a midwife. <laughs> I'm a midwife of the deck. I love that. <laughs> and a priestess. You have grown into a, a, a priest. You are a priestess. Thank you, Lisa. That means a lot. So I've been thinking uh, before you got on, I uh, was thinking about how long I've known you, probably since you were, I mean, eight. eight. Okay, and you're how old now? 27. <laughs> it's been a while. And I have seen, I, it's been a joy to watch you grow up, to see you change and develop and, um, uh, I'll be following you for a while. <laughs> I hope so, because I'll be following you. So uh, for everybody who doesn't know, I did make a, uh, create a portrait with Maya when she was 12, which was in the, um, the Goddess on Earth book I have right here. And here is Maya's portrait when she was 12, as Artemis then. Can I read to you what you wrote? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. You wrote, I strive to have Artemis's strength, but it's so hard to be independent. I feel lost and lonely sometimes, even when I'm with my friends. Artemis <laughs> represents strength, independence, self-reliance, and courage, all qualities I wish I had. So powerful. It was so real. Of a yeah. 12 year old. Sitting in your living room crying, being like, I don't know. <laughs> I remember that. So that was a day. How, how were you feeling then? And how, well, you explained it that you wished you had these, that feeling, the Artemis, that strength. Yeah, that was definitely, I mean, like, I'm sure for many of us, preteen, teen time is kind of a rough time. That was a especially difficult time in my life for many reasons. Um, but yeah, I was, I was definitely struggling with being with myself and finding myself and connecting with myself. And whenever I saw an image of Artemis or heard her story, it really... I just, I wanted to, to be that. And not only her, her independence and her sovereignty, but her, her um, pr protectress qualities where she, you know, felt so strong that not only she was strong for herself, but she was strong for those that she protected, which was, you know, the beings of, of the wood um, and, and, and women particularly. So yeah, that was, that was definitely something that I, I connected with and I also um when I was around that age was you know sorting out my sexuality and and figuring that out and um one of my spiritual teachers in our realm 
had mentioned to me that Artemis was a big deity in the lesbian community. And um, I identify as, as pansexual now, but when I heard that, it was very triggering for me because I was like, oh my God, like I was, I was being forced to face my non-heterosexuality just because I felt connected to this goddess. And that was, that was a big piece of the difficulty for me and, and accepting that and also like connecting to her, like really connecting to her, which is why I think I had a hard time writing that bio because I still wasn't really at peace with that. Um, but yeah, to answer your question in a long winded response. <laughs> but it's, it's so um, pithy. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but it's so right on that uh, an archetype, a story, a myth, could be so profound for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really uh, at such a crucial age too, which yeah. is why these stories are so good for young girls mm -hmm. to see all the possibilities that are open to them. Yeah, young, young anyone's really. It's the archetypes are you know just these. It doesn't matter what your what your gender identity is. It's just how how you connect to that energy. Yeah. You know, when I look at your portrait, I'm going to go show it again. Um, when I look at it, uh, you, you know, there was this, you, I think you were protecting, trying to get the glare off there, there. There is a, um, you are protecting, I, feel, I felt like in the woods, you know, the animals, but there is a fear. There seems to be um, a vulnerability and a fear in your eyes. Mm -hmm. When I see that, it's youth, but questioning mm -hmm. and it just blows me away <laughs> when we go to uh the new portrait uh well actually i have the black and white right here i mean yeah. radically different in in energy and expression <laughs> Can you talk about that transformation? How you, uh, when I read your quote, how I wish I had, and it's like you, you manifested it, it was your <laughs> desire, you wanted it. I'm sure there was a lot of work to get there. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. Oh, um, it's interesting, because like showing that portrait, like the one that you did for the book as even opposed to like now where I'm at, cause that was, you know, four years ago at this point, maybe even five years you got, you right. did that when I was like 22 or 23. Right. For the, for the Oracle, for the Oracle. Yeah. yeah. For the deck. Yeah. Um, and, and seeing even the tra transformation from that picture to like how I would probably do it now, Ooh. you know, I, I feel like I've even further stepped into my power, but yeah, it was definitely, I mean, so much self-reflection, so much taking responsibility for my life, my emotions, my thoughts, getting the help that I needed, um, to, and taking action, which is what the card is is really all about in the deck, is, is taking action on what you need to do to move forward in your journey, to help others, to do whatever you have to do. And it was a... It was a long, bumpy road, but I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm still young. I still have still quite a ways. On the road. We're all on the road. For sure, for yeah. sure. Um, and I think a lot of us will, will always be on that road. But, um, yeah, looking at the two portraits, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing how I've really stepped into that strength and independence and. I mean, I'm not trying to be cocky, but I do, I do feel like so much more of her energy and um, identify with that. And yeah, it's, it's been amazing. And it's, it's taken a lot, but it, it continues to manifest itself. Well, I, I can attest to it, having um, stood in circle with you in ritual when you have led the ritual and how powerful it is, how you have stepped forward and embraced that role of um, taking responsibility for your actions and um, being so grounded and present and for other people, for, for the women in the circle. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm really privileged <laughs> to have seen that development. 
I mean, I, I feel, I feel like I'm the privileged one to be able to be raised by such an incredible community of women and then to be able to serve them is like, I mean, for me, that's like, that's been the dream is to turn around and, you know, be able to, to give that back and to hold space. And I mean, even with the, the women's sacred fire, like that's been an incredible learning for me and, and to, yeah, to be able to, to grow and to essentially be trained, you know, and then to, to give that service back has just meant the world to me. Well, I think uh, ha not having grown up that way, uh, you know, I came to it in my uh, 40s, the, the, our, our goddess circle and mm -hmm. feminist spirituality. Um, it's just remarkable to watch the young girls who I did have the joy to watch grow up. And I'm going to keep following you with portraits like you just Do mentioned. It. I would love that throughout <laughs> the decades. <laughs> it's going to be like a seven up, you know, all you girls, I'll be photographing every like 10 years. I love it. I love yeah. it. That's going to be such a, such a cool progression. Right. <laughs> well, you know, the, um, the name of the subtext here is with the spirited wisdom of